Hello and welcome back to My House of Mystical Embers. So for today's video, we are going to be doing the Libra monthly reading for the month of February. We are going to be seeing what energies are coming in for our lovely Libras. So first I'm going to do is I'm going to get the overall energy for Libra for the month of February. Please take what resonates and leave the rest out. Place the energies where they resonate for you. And also be reminded that these events or these energies can play out at any given time. And also, for those of you, I hope that you are doing well. I hope you're feeling safe and loved and sending in all that positive and loving energy out to everybody that needs it. Alrighty, Libra, you have two cards for your overall energy here. So you have Sovereignty if I'm even saying that right. So, but this is the queen of the moon. And then we also have the darkness card coming out. So immediately I was picking up on an energy Libra where I feel like that you guys have been kind of like, you've been in the dark. I feel like a lot of you may have gone through maybe a dark night of the soul. You've been doing a lot of shadow work. But I feel like is that during February that you are coming out of this darkness. But I feel like is that you all are going to have a newfound perspective when it comes to, I'm hearing the word spirituality. So some of you may be on this spiritual journey. And I feel like that during this spiritual journey is that you're coming out of this more wiser. Like I feel like is that you have this, this newfound perspective on the world, the universe, how things come together. Um, Cause I'm hearing like you have knowledge, you know, the knowledge is in your hands. I'm, I'm going to try to elaborate on that, but that's what I'm hearing. The knowledge is in your hands. So, but I also feel like a lot of you may be really coming into your intuition. You guys could have some, you know, coming into your own psychic abilities. Um, but I feel like as a, you're really starting to kind of connect universally. You're, but you're, you know, you're connecting with Mother Earth and you're connecting with the stars and you're connecting with the planets and you're just, you're just connecting with the cosmos is really what I'm feeling here. It's a very, very beautiful energy, honestly. All right, let's see what's coming in for Libra. Libra in the month of February. Ooh. Libra. Wow, you guys got flyers everywhere. Wow, wow, wow. These are seriously just flying out of the deck. Boy, the cars are really talking to you today, Libra. Oh, yeah. Shadow self. Definitely. This is definitely that confirmation. The devil in the reverse. You guys definitely went through a shadow period. Wow, a lot of these same cards came out in our some of our recent ones. Alrighty, Libra. I feel like is that you have been dealing with a situation here where you are just I feel like you're at your limit. I feel like that this has to do, I, I feel like this is kind of a combination of home and work. Some of you may be working multiple jobs to make ends meet is really what I'm seeing here. But I feel like there's this heavy, there's a heavy emotional I feel like you guys have been carrying around a lot of emotional baggage for so long that it's also it has been extremely heavy and very burdensome for you to keep carrying this around. So I feel like you've just kind of come to an energy where you're kind of like in this energy where you're about to ready to emotionally collapse. I feel like this has been going on for quite some time. Like this has, this has been a long time that you've been carrying around these energies, right? Um, with the four of cups coming in here, I just, I feel like a lot of you have just been in an energy of depression. Like some of you have been fighting depression. Um, 
you're just unmotivated, but you're becoming very bored. You're very bored, you're complacent. You're just very dissatisfied with your life right now. Like, <clears throat> I'm hearing the words hitting rock bottom. With the Queen of Wands in the reverse here too, is I feel like as you, you have been juggling a lot of stuff. Whether this is, I feel like some of you may have been working multiple jobs, so you're trying to juggle, you know, all this work and you're trying to juggle home life. I feel like this has caused a lot of um, grief within you. Anger too, I really feel like. I feel like you might be becoming very temperamental. Um, I feel like is that you guys might snap at the drop of a hat and it ha really has nothing to do with that person personally. It's just, you're just kind of like, you are at your, your, your wits end. You're just, you're, you're tired and you want to be left alone is this energy that I'm feeling here. Um, with the page of pentacles coming in the reverse here too, is I really feel like is that you're just lacking some motivation or you're lacking the goals to keep going because you're just like, I'm also seeing swirls, so I feel like is that you guys have kind of been stuck into this loop in this repetitive cycle over and over and over again. Um, and things are just really becoming out of control for you. And I feel like you've just, you've really gotten to an energy where you're just very defensive. Um, and I feel like that this is what has kind of pushed you into this to the shadow self. I feel like some of you may be holding yourself back a lot out of fear because some of you may, might not feel like is that you're good enough to, you know, have your own come up, right? You, some of you might feel like is that you're not good enough to ha live the good life or to be making more money or to go to school or, you know, whatever it is in your life that you, whatever your hopes and your dreams are, I feel like is that people have repressed you so much or they have always put you in this energy of where they needed you to be subservient to them. So they would basically, they would break you. They would break your spirit. And there's always been an energy of conditional giving. Like if you're dealing with a a person where you have to be the one that's out here working all this, these jobs in order to make ends meet while this person just basically sits at home doing nothing. And this person just keeps shitting on you over and over and over again and just tearing you down. It's like this energy of where you, I'm hearing the words, yes, master. So, and, and no offense to anybody. I hope nobody takes offense to that, but that's the energy that it feels like. It's like you're, you're this person's slave. It's so disheartening. And I really feel like that this, this has really gotten you to the point where you were just like, you go into this energy where you're, you're facing your fears because I feel like for the longest time, Libra, you have been hiding your true self. You're not speaking your truth. You're not being who you are meant to be. You're not being truly you because you're basically being who this person wants you to be. Whether this is, I'm hearing the words mother. So some of you may be kind of like under your mother's control, or maybe this is how your, you know, your mother wants you to be. They, they need you to act a certain way, dress a certain way, have a particular job that maybe you just downright hate and you want to do something else, but this person just keeps tearing you down and wanting you to basically, I'm hearing the words live vicariously through you. Um, but for the most part, I feel like is that you are very much in an energy where you have just completely detached and now you're going through your own dark night of the soul. You're going through your own shadow period right now where you're you're facing your fears head on but you're also in an energy too where you're starting to question I, I really feel like is it you're questioning your own spirituality you know or you know if you was religious maybe you're questioning that um but I feel like is it you're moving into an energy of you're coming into your spirituality or maybe those were your belief systems, but you've always had them hidden. 
you kept them to yourself because of the people around you because maybe they didn't believe in it. And you've always had to hide yourself. Some of you, and like I said, I feel like some of you may be coming into your own psychic abilities. And maybe this is something that you have had to keep hidden just because of the repression from, you know, a mother, a partner, um, you know, husband, wife, you know, whatever it is. But I really feel like is that, you know, with the Six of Wands in the reverse, I feel like this is an energy of you finally slowly healing. You're finally detaching. But you're moving into the, to this energy of the Queen of Swords because now you're starting to become a little bit more sharp-tongued. But more importantly, you're coming into your own inner strength. And this is when you have that inner strength is where you're finally, when you start emerging out of your shadow period, you're going to be very much into a, a different energy where you're going to be, you're going to speak up more. You're going to start speaking your truth and you're going to basically tell people, hey, you know what? I don't believe in this, but you know, I believe in this. And I'm not going to say specifics because everybody has different um, belief systems. So it could be anything, you know, however it is for you. No judgment here. Um but for those of you that have had abilities and you have basically had to keep yourself hidden or, you know, keep everything secret for the sake of everybody else around you, because maybe they might not understand or they'll think you're crazy. You're just in an energy where you just don't give a fuck anymore. And you're just like, you know what? I like tarot cards or I'm a reader or I'm a witch or I believe in astrology. Um, I like the paranormal, you know, I like the weird stuff or, you know, I believe in, you know, the universal laws of karma or, you know, however that resonates for you, you're finally going to start speaking up and regardless of how people are going to react to it, I feel like that with the champion of pentacles coming in here, I really feel like is that you are, you're going to be defensive about it, of course. But I feel like is that you're just going to be more so in an energy of stubbornness, but you're going to stay loyal to yourself. You're finally going to be staying loyal to yourself and you're going to start becoming more responsible for yourself. You're going to be responsible for your own happiness. You're going to be responsible for your own truth. Because you're not going to keep allowing these people to keep you repressed. Whoever this person is. Or it could be multiple people. It could be people. One person. Yeah, we have the afterlife here. I feel like is that you're you're in this energy of where you're, be, you're going to be reborn, Libra. You're going to be reborn. You're going through a death and a rebirth phase right now. Tell me about Libra for the month of February. Somebody has been very demanding on your energy. Yeah, and with far away, I feel like that you guys are going to be separating from this person. Some of you may be moving far. Like some of you may have decided, you know what? I just need to move away from this. Some of you may be moving out of state, you know, out of country. We have sacred alchemy coming in here. So this here is that energy for me. For me, this card here really represents an energy of liberation where you're liberating yourself, you're opening your eye, your third eye could be opening up, but you could finally be seeing things differently. You're waking up, right? You're in this energy of rebirth, you're waking up. All this electricity here, this is that electrifying energy where, where you're finally breaking free from what has kept you repressed whatever that is for you you're breaking free from this but if this here is this energy of where you, it's sparking life it's sparking new life into you and in the wings here for me this is that energy where you're breaking free from it you are creating a life of change through your own magic you know you're you're finding the magic within yourself you're coming into an energy where you are uniting with the divine. You're trusting in the universe. 
drastic changes are coming in for you, Libra. This was a wake-up call for you. you. You're waking up. And this is kind of this energy of this destruction of the old in order for you to become born anew is really what this is. Bottom of the deck, waiting. You're being patient with this. And then we have cast out. You're just, you're done. You just don't want to keep, a, you don't want to be in this situation anymore. You don't want to keep being controlled like this. You don't want to keep being repressed. You don't want to keep being torn down. And then we have the rise card. So you are rising above this. You're being reborn again. And then we have the psychic coming out here. I feel like that this card here, oh, and we have the star seed. It just keeps coming and coming. And then they keep telling me to pull in the new birth. Look at that. Look at that new perspective. New perspective. The psychic card, I feel like this is confirmation for those of you that know that you have, that you're sensitive. You know, you're, you could be psychic. You know, you could be a medium. You know, uh, whatever your gifts are that you feel that you have, that you know that you have. I feel like this card right here is confirmation, not just because you're coming on YouTube or you're seeking out answers through readers. I feel like is that you are the reader in this card. You are the psychic in this card. And with the star seed is that you're coming to realize that you, my friend, you are an old soul. You have a ton of spiritual wisdom that's just locked up inside you that's ready to come out. But I really feel like is that you're realizing this. You know that you have an importance here on this planet. That you have a mission in this lifetime. And that you are evolving spiritually, right? And we have that new birth here. And we have this new perspective. You're looking at things differently. It's almost kind of like you're you're waking up for the first time. Like you're like newborn eyes. And you're seeing the world for the first time through a different pair of eyes you know you took off those rose colored glasses and you're seeing things differently beautiful beautiful energy here lots of um spiritual growth i really feel like i said a lot of you are going through some huge and major shifts um you could start you could i'm hearing the words you could be feeling the peak of it in february for those of you that haven't um, you know, really gone down the journey long enough. I feel like is that you're going to start feeling that energy peaking in February. Um, for others of you that have already been going on down a spiritual journey for quite some time, I feel like is that your energy is going to go through another um, growth period where you're evolving again. You're just becoming more stronger and um, you know, you're seeing things differently again. You know, we're always learning. We're always growing. We're always evolving. For those of you, you guys are going to be on the start of this journey very, very soon. Either within the month of February or this is going to be the or something in the month of February is going to be the catalyst that is going to push you into going into that shadow self, doing that work, doing your shadow work, and you're in that process of, of transformation and being reborn. Beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, let's get an outcome card for Libra. Outcome card for Libra for the month of February. And their beautiful transformation. Ooh. We have the, this came up this way. We have the five of wands in the reverse. So here we have things are becoming restored in your life. Harmony situations are definitely going to be coming um, resolved. And then we also have the King of Cups. And then we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like things, you're in a process of rebuilding, but I feel like it's not just you that's rebuilding yourself. You're rebuilding yourself up from the ground up is what I'm hearing here. King of Pentacles coming in here too. You're definitely becoming a little bit more grounded. You're feeling more secure, but you're hardworking. You know, if this has to do with finances, I feel like is that, you know, all this transformation that you're going to be going through is definitely going to be, um, a lot of that energy is going to be put into financials. Um, 
but I feel like that your financials are going to start stabling out, if that makes any sense. I do feel like that some of you are going to be um, getting rid of some of the extra jobs because I feel like that you're going to be moving into something different, um, something that's going to be a, more fulfilling for you, regardless of what anybody else says, because this is something that you want to do with your life, right? And then with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, you are definitely in an energy of recovery. Be on the lookout. You're going to start seeing positive changes coming in. Um, but I feel more so is that you're looking ahead to the future with a lot more optimism um, and a lot more positivity than you did before. All right, Libra. So if you resonated with this reading, um, please hit that like button or shoot me a comment in the comment section down below. And if you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you would like to follow me over on TikTok, I go live over there on Tuesdays. Fridays and Saturdays. Um, on Fridays, I do a collective reading. Plus, after that, I do readings in yes or no. And then on Tuesdays and Saturdays is strictly yes or no questions. And I also do live readings over there. Um, if you would like to book a private reading with me, all of that information will be in the description box below. All right, Libras. So praying that you guys have a fantastic and liberating month of February. And sending you all the positive energy, um, all that loving energy, positive vibes, all that good shit. Sending all that out to you, to my uh, beautiful Libras. Alrighty, my loves. Until next time, blessed be.